Yo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. Welcome to another My Park video. Today's not a regular My Park video, man. I got some things to talk about. I really haven't done this in a while. I haven't really voiced my opinion about this game. I really been chilling on a back burner, playing other video games to keep me up, keep me sane, not having to go off the Richter every night, not having to break a table, snap a controller, a frisbee a disc, um, take my PlayStation hard drive out, burn it, uh, put my PlayStation in the oven. Like, but today. We got some news about a rep boost from Ronnie2k via Twitter. You know, everybody was livid, man. He was hyped. He, he was just going crazy about how this rep boost about to put people over the top. Everybody like, yo, if you want to become a legend, now's the time to do it. They doing another rep boost. But uh, I got something to talk to y'all about that. You know what I'm saying? Everybody has been seeing in the community. And I feel as though, like, it's time for me to voice my opinion about this game. The NBA season is over. We're about to go into the playoffs. So, I feel like, like, right now is the time that we need to talk about this. So, first off, I'm in a party with my boy Flight Mary. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't know who Flight Mary is, he's one of the people that's always in the Twitch streams for 2K. Um, he was running their site for a little bit, you know, doing his thing. But um, he said that, you know, a couple things went left. And, uh, you know, he's he, he kind of stepped back from the from the fold of things. So, you know, he hit me up. He was like, yo, the rep boost is out. I want to test it out. So I'm like, cool. Which, how you want to test it? My man left his park. He was a flyer since day one. He left his park, came to Sunset. My man is a rookie one in this game. He said, y'all want to see how crazy this rep boost is? I have no problem with, you know, going back to like maybe pro level four or pro level five or something like that. Or all star one, you know, with a crazy rep boost after this. So I'm like, all right, cool bet. You know, we're going to test it out. I'm definitely going to stay what I am. Um, I'm an all star uh, one. Just to let you guys know before the video is over. I'm an all star one coming in here. We also got Epic in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I believe he is a legend one or two. But, uh. The gist of it is, when Ronnie2k stated that there was going to be a rep boost, he did not clarify what type of boost it was going to be, the amount, percentage, or anything like that. And in his vague tweet, he basically said, go out there and win. So my first thought was, hey, I know we got to win. I know we got to get a W in order to get this boost. So let's see what happens when we start winning. So you guys will see what happens at the end of this video, but I want to talk more about 2K as a core this year. So NBA 2K16 drops. It has a lot of hype behind it. Um, a lot of cover athletes. Uh, of course, you know, the reigning MVP and um, championship winner as well, Steph Curry. Now, a lot of people say this game was built. After Steph Curry, where you know his layup packages, his move sets, everybody loved the cheesiness of the game, but it wasn't much cheesiness that you can do. 2K claimed that they took out the zigzag cheese, they claimed that they took out the demigods, they claimed that they took out the corner three cheese, they uh, said that they took out a bunch of different reasons why 2K15 was starting to go down the toilet. Now, me personally, I'm a I'm a player that plays the game for fun. You know what I'm saying? It does get a little competitive, but for the most part, I love playing with my friends. Now, the problem is my friends all tell me this game is ass. They all tell me that something is wrong with this game. But me, I'm like, no, nah, this game is this game is awesome. All they gotta do is drop like one or two patches and it's gonna be lit. So the first patch comes out. And we know this straight away. Demigods come out of nowhere. Demigods come out of left field. Zigzag Cheese is now reintroduced to the game. And the green release, like I'm, I'm using quotation marks right now. The green release was nowhere to be found. So, you know, there was a couple more problems that they had. A couple more patches that they had. And now we have this product. And this product is literally worse than 2K15 when it comes to gameplay problems glitches exploits the whole nine now graphically mm, standpoint it's a little bit better gameplay wise it is better gameplay but it's way too animation based it feels like you cannot control your character when you really want to do something like right there see how i'm trying to get right on my defender i'm trying to get in his mitt and i can't slide my feet 
I have lockdown defender. Well, I'm sorry, perimeter lockdown defender equipped to my player, but I can't even slide my feet in order to stay in front of him. It's insane. So back to the patches, right? Everybody was complaining about not making their jump shots and they was like, okay, well, this is what we're going to do. We're going we're gonna to fix the little green release thing. And we're going to say the, the more green releases you get, the better chance you have a shot. Uh, maybe when a defender is not in your eyes, you know, or something like that. If you have dead eye badges, we're going to see if the dead eye, we can get that to work a little bit more. And then they did that, right? So come to find out, if you're shooting from one side of the court and you have a green release, you f around and miss it whether it was a defender in your face whether it wasn't a defender in your face it just happens like when i shoot from the right side of the court when i'm when my 2k cam is facing the rim and i shoot from the right side and this has been proven in many of streams when i shoot from that side and i get a perfect release i miss probably 83 percent of the time don't know why it doesn't make sense but it happens all right and this is a problem that i said to ld to ronnie say yo what's up with the what's up you know uh the guys act like you know they they couldn't respond to your boy you know what i'm saying um ronnie 2k ended up unfollowing me don't know why that happened you know what i'm saying ld still follow me he tweets me here and there when it's you know real questions on the line but you know i don't know what's up with the boy ronnie you know what i'm saying he unfollowed your boy i'm like oh okay cool 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 so Back to the patches right so another patch come out and an exploit i don't know how this got introduced to the game but i'm showing you guys right here that this dude that's in here uses exploit a few times it's called the back down speed cheese basically uh you go into a back down animation and then you come out the back down and you can run at lightning speed and nobody can keep up with you no matter if they're holding r2 no matter if they're sliding their feet no matter if they try to bump you nobody can be held it's insane then we have the guy sitting in the paint calling for a pick and if you're trying to cut through the paint you literally literally get an offensive foul every single time don't know how don't know why but this is the things that are in 2k16 and i don't know i, I just can't understand it you know and, and this is another thing that was swept under the rug me and flight was talking about this after this match was over he was telling me how you know they they said that they were gonna get put in a new patch you know uh mike wing even went on espn and everything like that worldwide and let people know that 2k is going to be addressing some of their things and stuff like that but it seems like it's been swept under the rug since this road to the finals because the road to the finals people were cheating people were literally matching up taking l's with their friends on other accounts and saying yo we all gonna win this money okay they addressed it cool but what happens when there are still exploits in a game that people can use to get a win? If it's $250,000 on the line, you best believe if there's anything in the game that anybody can exploit, you can't tell me 100% that they're not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? It, the funny thing is when you make a competitive game that is it's basketball, we talking basketball right now. You, know you cannot come out with these god darn games with these bugs that you can't smash, raid, stomp on, hit with the zapper. You have to somehow fix these problems without creating other problems. And oh, let's address the rep boost. Why my man is still a rookie one and you guys said the rep boost was here. The bottom picture was the first game. That picture above it is the third game. What's up, 2K? Holla at me. Some dudes win, a few dudes lose. Nobody want to be a fan anymore. Niggas get too cool. Get it? Jump in the books like the blues clues do. Can't pay my bills with all these YouTube views. I'm trying to make a difference. Niggas savage like there ain't no jail. You killed her son, she know who did it. Think she ain't gonna tell? And that's murder, so there ain't no bail. So you stuck until court, you might as well just decorate your cell. And your family broke, that's why you send the